Mai Kako. Welcome back to Hula. This is Hala, Na Pua Hala, Kuno Ike Kai, and we're so glad that you joined us. Kumu has had a very busy week, so has my helper. This is my son, Eames Kalaniakia, and we both started school this week, which is the only excuse that I have for why I didn't post the event until yesterday. And then when I did post it, it was for 9 p.m. yesterday instead of 9 a.m. this morning. So, if we call it my, please forgive me. My brain is, I'm going to try and get my act together a little bit. We have a lot to do today. Our hula this month is Milo Li'i, which takes us from the island of Hawaii on some epic travels to ride a donkey um, and what else? Did, and an elephant and soon something else. So, before we run out of time to actually hula, I think it is time. We're back. I don't know what happened. Mm -hmm. I'm so sorry, everybody. Okay, we're gonna move on. Hopefully, you finish Hawaii Pono E. We did. We were singing to ourselves here. So <laughs> at this time, we're gonna do our Oli Aloha. Thank you for hanging with us. You guys are the best. Um, I want to greet everyone who hang hung in there with us. So Yvonne in Florida, Mama Chan in Makiki, right here on the island of Oahu. McCoy, thanks for letting us know in Florida that we lost the video. Uh, Angelica in Kelemonia, Germany. Patricia, all the way in Boston, she made us these beautiful lei. Let's show off Auntie Patricia's lei that she made for us. Thank you so much. Even the one in my hair, I just slammed her in there. Thank you for these. Sherry from Oregon, my hometown. Uh, Linda from Pennsylvania, welcome back. We've been missing you. Norie in Jifu, Japan, Veronica, and thank you so much for tuning in from Mexico. Inger from right here, YLI Avenue, nice to see you. Jamie, nice to see you, and maybe sister in San Diego, aloha no. Okay, let's see, anybody else? Sherry, did I say Sherry already? Okay, phew, we made it. Let's greet each other with our oli aloha, and if you can mirror to this, that would be awesome. We will do our Oli Aloha, sending our love all around the world to our global hula ohana. Oli Aloha, pa. Akahai na Hawaii, lokahi akulike, onu olu kamana o, haa haa kokulana. Aho nuya la nakila Aloha. That's it. He missed his cue. He missed his cue. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Inside joke. Every time Luke is supposed to pop up his head on ha ha ha, but he missed it. It's okay. He was troubleshooting. <laughs> All right, <laughs> our next thing that we're going to do is our prayers. So go ahead and noho ilalo, have a seat. We will start with our Hawaiian doxology, and we do two verses. So, ho'onani, pa. Ho'onani kamakua mau Kekeiki me kauha
Okay, I think we need all the blessings we can get. So let's do one more prayer with Ekia Kua. This one is done in call and response style. So I will be the uh, Mea Alaka'i, the leader, and Eames will be the Mea Opili, that is the follower. Okay. Ekea Kua. Mahalo no, Mahalo no, Mahalo ya oi, Mahalo ya oi, No kei ala, No kei ala, Amen, 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 Mahalo. And even with technical difficulties, we are still so thankful for this day. No kei ala. Um, now, I think Kanoi Inger put into the comments already, she gave you a little sneak preview of how our weather is over here in the Hawaiian Islands. There's actually a tropical storm or something. It's actually called Linda. So I think Linda is watching today. So your storm is a coming and storm is a brewing. Um, we always ask our, our global hula ohana, pehea kianila, how is the weather? I know some of you already typed it into the comments while we were waiting for the video feed, but... Hey, Eames, Pehea, Keanila. How is the weather? Keanila, O Malu, Malu, Keia. So let's see it. Ooh, <laughs> there's still a little patch of blue it's fighting to, to break through. So um, hopefully you are having a beautiful day in your neck of the woods. But Hela, O Malu, Malu, Keia. And it was a little bit. Um, it was Helaua Keia, Hekakahiakaua Keia this morning because it was a little bit rainy and hopefully it will hold off for the rest of the day. But stay safe and dry wherever you are and thanks for being with us for Hula today. Okay, at this time we're going to move on. We definitely need a little sun to peek through. So let's do Eala A for the rising of the sun. You're going to cup your hands in a upoho or a cupped um, hands together and then pa'i is going to be a flat. So two upoho and then a pa'i, that's our pattern. Ready, go. E ala e, e ala e, kala i kahikina, i kamoana, kamoana ho ho nu, pi i kaleva, kaleva nu u, i kahikina, aya kala, e ala e, hanaho second time, go. E ala e, kala i kahikina, i kamoana, kamoana ho ho nu, pi i kaleva, kaleva nu u, i kahikina, aya kala. E ala e, hanaho last time. E ala e, kala i kahikina, i kamoana, kamoana ho ho nu, pi i kaleva, kaleva nu u. I kahikina ayakala e alai. Very good. Okay, I hope the sun got the memo. We need it to shine through a little bit. <laughs> What's that? Did it work? Did it I, uh, I don't know if it, it quite came out. Oh, there's a little bit more blue up, up top there. So keep sending those sunshiny vibes and we'll send them out to you as well. All right. Next up, we have our chant, which helps us to focus our energies on learning all that we can about the mele and hula that we're about to study. This is Eho Mai by Edith Kanaka Ole, and we will do this one three times as well. Eho Mai Pa. Eho Mai Ka Ike Mai Luna Mai E O Na Ame Ahuna No E O Na Mele Eho Mai Eho o mai, eho o mai, eho mai ka ike mai luna mai eho na me ahuna no e o na mele eho o mai, eho o mai, eho o mai, eho mai ka ike mai luna mai eho na. Mahalo for that. Yeah, Eames and I have been noticing that Ehomai is a great one to sort of test 
how your lungs are doing and we talk a lot about lung capacity and can you breathe and all of this kind of thing nowadays so it's good to just take note of how hard or easy it was for you to do a whole my just a way to check in with your breath yep Okay, next up, we're going to move on to our ipu. I know it's a favorite part for so many of you, so you can go and grab your ipu and pale if you have one. If you don't, you can always improvise. Um, you can use whatever you have, or you can just use your hands. We are going to be using these ipu that we have here. Of course, some of you have met mine before. Uh, her name is Hina because she likes to lie down. Eames ipu's name is Ku because he likes to stand tall. All right, so hold your ipu with the left hand, and we're going to go ahead and make our ipu with this mele ipu heke ole. Hanavo ika ipu heke ole pa. Hanavo ika ipu heke ole ika ipu heke ole. Hanavo ika ipu heke ole ika pa. Hanna no eo, Hanna ho, Hanna ho, Ika ipu heke ole, Ika ipu heke ole, Hanna ho, Ika ipu heke ole, Ika papa, Hanna no eo. Very good. Now, before we leave this slide, I want to point out that both Eames and one of my other students who's about Eames' age, uh, eight, years old, they both pointed out to me separately that they thought I had a typo on this slide because I sing Hanavo. Even though there isn't a W or a V between the first two words, oftentimes in the Hawaiian language, when you have those two next to each other, especially the word O, sometimes you'll just slip in the W, which is a V sound, um, so you would say hanavo or hanawo instead of hanao. Hano. You definitely don't want to put an okina. Hanao. Oh. You don't want to do that, okay? So um, it's not a typo. It's just sort of a way of speaking. So hanavo, even though it doesn't have a, a V. You could also just elide it and say hanawo or hanao, but it's kind of a style thing. But it isn't a typo. Sorry about that. Okay, but thanks for catching it. He's always catching my typos. Okay, let's do our ipu beats. We have four to practice. The first is the kaeke loloi, little rattling sound. That's it. Now, when you hit the ipu on the pale or ground, that's called the u. And when you slap it on the side with your hand, that's called te. So we're going to do the pa beat, which is a combination of u and te, back and forth, four times pa. Ready, go. And ku or stop. Good. The next pattern is ute te. That's called the kahela beat. Let's do four kahela. Ready, go. And stop. Good. The last pattern is the cool, cool beat. You're going to hit the ground. U, 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 te, te. Okay, ready? Four ku, ku. Ready, go. That's one. Very good. Now, yesterday I had my intermediate keiki back here at the halal for the first time in a long time. And I gave them this pattern, which they said was not that hard. Okay, so here is the pattern. This one might be hard for some of you, but the intermediate keiki said, eh. So here it goes. It was pa kahela, pa kahela. Then it was kahela, pa, kahela, pa. Then it was pa, kahela, kuku. And then, kuku, kahela, pa. Did you get that? Should I say it again? No. Okay, he said no. <laughs> Savage. Okay, ready? Good luck. Starts with pa, kahela. Ready? And here we go. Pa, kahela, pa, kahela. Then kahela, and a pa. Kahela, and a pa. Back to pa, kahela, kuku. Kuku. Kahela and a pop. There you go. Was that hard? It was hard for me. I'm just saying, because my brain is old. Okay, let's go ahead and put our ipu and pale away. I know that was just a quick one, but since we had our little video blurb, 
Um, I'm actually going to go right into our review. We're not going to do some basic steps today. Uh, we have lots to review for Milo Lee, and I want to make sure that we don't run out of time. So we'll do the basic steps as they come up in the hula, okay? Very good. Okay, Kui Luna, stand on up if you were still sitting down. We're going to jump into Milo Lee, which is our hula for this week and this month, I suppose. It is um, written by Hakumele John Makua Kane, who um, wrote this song about starting off in the fishing village of Milo Lee. Now, John Makua Kane, father of um, Kahu Makua Kane down at Kwaiha'o Church, he was a kahu himself, not in Milo Lee, but close by, um, and he knew about this little fishing town. Now, kind of the stereotype about fishing town is that the people there are kind of, um, you know, like simple. They live a simple life in the fishing town, but we have so much to learn from them. If any of you saw the article that I posted about Uncle Eddie Ka'anana from Milo Lee, there's so much knowledge to be learned from Uncle Eddie and all of the people living that way of life in the fishing village of Milolii. So this song is actually not really about Milolii at all. It's about leaving Milolii, getting out of Dodge. So it starts off in this first verse, Milolii, talking about that little fishing town. So you're going to push down. Milolii. And bring the hands back together. Yeah, so this should be right about pico level. Oh, by the way, do you like my mu'u mu'u? My mu'u mu'u is um, vintage, of course, um, Princess Kayu Lani fashions. And I decided to wear it because it has a little bit of sort of that Western influence flair. Um, and, I'll, and I'll tell you why in a few verses, maybe. But it'll all make sense, maybe. At least it makes sense to me. Okay, so back to Milolii, small fishing town. Milolii. And my hands are pretty much parallel to the ground. It might be hard for you to tell from here. But we actually do have another angle up above. Maybe we can see how far away my hands. Oh, no, just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. That is not working. So you just figure it out. <laughs> this today. today. Wow, today. OK, so your hands are just, look, if I turn to the side, you can see how far the away they are from my body. OK. That's how far your hand should be away, and you're going to push on. Then you're going to bring your hands to your chest, and you're going to go there. Akune aula. Aula means myself or I. Okay? So go, I go. Yeah? And then ike kau e kakela. It's talking about kau means to place on top or to be on top. Kau ikake, I'm on top of a donkey. I'm riding a donkey. So you're going to hold on to the reins of the donkey with your left hand straight out in front of you. And your right hand is going to give it a little encouragement. Get along, little donkey. That, that's not how it goes. What? Get along, little, along, little doggy. But why is it a doggy? Isn't it a horse? Anyways, donkey. So you're going to um, hold the reins, and you're going to go one hit, two hit, and then hold the reins tight with two hands. Because this donkey is nuha. Nuha means to be kind of uh, stubborn and a little bit irritated. So he's going to go this way, and then he's going to go that way. Okay? So towards the right, you're going to go right, left, right. And then you're going to switch it left, right, left. OK? And then we're going to kaholo to the right. Our vamp is just regular two-hand kaholo to the right and two-hand kaholo to the left. OK, let's try all the hands for Milo Lee first first. Ready, go. Milo Lee, akune aula, ike kau e kakela. Nui. And then holo and holo. So now let's add the feet to that, make sure we got that going on. So we're going to kaholo to the right. Da 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 Mi lo li e place down holo. Mi lo li e. Now you're going to come toward me. A kune and then away. A ula and to yourself. Now let me just make sure that you know what I did there. Started with a kaholo forward at the angle, and then coming back, it's kind of like six counts. I call that a holo ho. I don't know. I just made up that 
Okay, so you're going to go forward. One, two, three, tap. And then coming back, it's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, let's go akune forward on the right going. Akune, aula, and five, six. We're going to ka'o to the right, sway to the right, boom. Sway to the left, boom. And then pause, right foot forward. Okay, let's try ko e kakela. E ko e kakela. Then we kaholo to the right. Anu ha ike ala nui. Dance with me and holo to the right. And miloli e pushing down center. Miloli e forward. Akune aula. Ike ko. E kakela, anu ha ike ala nui. Ba -da 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 That's our first verse. Okay, so that was our donkey at Milolii. And then our second verse, you're going to say, forget about Milolii. Let's go to Oahu Island and let's go to the, the big city. Let's go to Waikiki. Okay, so at Waikiki, we're going to start with two little waves to the right. And Eam says, why do you always make the same motion for Waikiki? Well, you tell him. It's hard to remember a new motion every time. And Kumu is running out of ideas. OK, <laughs> just kidding. OK, so, so that we remember, Waikiki is going to be like this. Waikiki. Smile. Akune aula. Your akune aula is the same in the second verse. OK, I can't promise it will always be the same. But for this one, it is. Okay? So we're going to kaholo to the right two waves. Waikiki. Then you're going to go forward just like the first verse. Akune. Hello. Aula. And so that's the six counts going back. Okay? Now, here's the fun one that we had a little bit too much fun with. Ikekao ele panila says, when I go to Waikiki, I'm going to jump on a, not a wave, not a streetcar, an ele pani which is an elephant. Do we still have the elephant picture? Here's our elephant. There she is. So this elephant was actually the hot attraction in Waikiki at the time. You could take your kids down there and put them up there for a few cents. They could go for a ride around Kapi'olani Park on this funny elephant. What did I say? The name? Daisy or Daisy, right? Daisy. So this is Daisy the elephant. And she had a friend that was also an attraction, was a gorilla. There was an ostrich, some some monkeys and things like that. So anyways, these were the hot attractions for tourists in Waikiki at the time. <laughs> so for your cow elepani, you're gonna lift your, your skirt if you have a mu'u mu'u, and you're gonna take your right leg and you're gonna swing it over the top. Kind of wide, I know this looks kind of ooh. But you're riding an elephant, so here we go. And you're going to give me a uehe. Okay, I know it's so funny. Okay, kau e ka kela. Then we're going to kaholo towards the left. Your left hand is going to be across your chest. Your right hand is going to go to your nose. Ihu pele. That was the nose of the elephant. Thank you very much. And then it's going to search for some peanuts to the right and search for some peanuts to the left. And then we holo to, let's try the Waikiki. We're going to the spouting waters, holo right. Waikiki, going forward. Akune aula. Ike kau e kakela. Ihu pelele you. Ba da 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 da. Waikiki, one more time. Waikiki. Akune aula. Right again. Ike ko ele panila. Ihu pelele you. Ba da 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 da. Okay. I feel like I look especially ele pani ish in this particular mu'u mu'u. So this was not the one that I had in mind, but oh well. Let us try verses one and two with our musicians who is also me. Thank you. All right. You. Me. Okay. Me, 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 me. <laughs> Very soft. Me, 
Sorry, I got to make it a few clicks louder for us here. Kaholo. Miloli. Miloli. Let's go. Akune aula. Ike kao e kakea. Nuha ike ala nu. Yeah, good job. Miloli. Miloli. We like to have a little fun. Akune aula. Ike kao. Here we go. <laughs> Let's ride. Ike kau ele panila ihu pele leu. Calafrisco. That's it. Calafrisco. Good job. Okay. I hope you're having fun with this one. This is not to be taken too seriously. We're not going to win Mary Monarch a one a night with this one, but maybe we will. Maybe everybody just needs a laugh at Mary Monarch. Loosen up, okay? Uh, <laughs> we're going to move on to our verse number three. You probably have heard me kahea or call out the verse on the recording, and it says we're leaving. We've left Miloli'i behind, Big Island. We came to Oahu, Waikiki, and we said, ah, oh, not enough. we got to go further. we got to go bigger so we're gonna go to Calafrisco do you know where Calafrisco is well there's a hint in there this word has the word Frisco and Cala yeah so it's California San Francisco so this was something I don't know was it just Hawaiians that called it Calafrisco or lots of people called it Calafrisco anybody out there know did everybody call it Calafrisco is that just a Hawaiian word I didn't do my research this week I, I don't know what I did, but I didn't do <laughs> my research. So this um, this week, we're going to go all the way to the Golden Gate Bridge. Some of my Haumana, I know Sharon and Sayan are very, very familiar with San Francisco. They used to live there. Um, and I'm sure some of you folks have visited. You have seen the Golden yeah. Gate Bridge. You've sailed under it on, on a cruise ship. So Califrisco is where we're going, but we're not going to swim there. That would be a funny verse. <laughs> <laughs> we're actually going to take an airplane. So, Ike kao mo kulelela says we're going to jump on a plane. Aleva ika aleva. And we're going to soar in the heights. It's so funny because the word leva and leva, both times in the last line, they both, they both mean different things. So, the first leva means to soar. And the second leva means in the heights. I buy my coffee and egg. Oh, wait, wait, wait. We're going to get shut down. Don't, don't sing that song. <laughs> we don't have rights to that song. <laughs> okay. So, Califrisco. I'm going to California. Akune aula. Ikeko. I'm going to get on. Mokulele la. Mokulele. Moku is the same word for boat. But we're not going to sail there. We're going to go on a boat that flies. Lele. Not jumps, but flies. A mokulele is a flying boat, also known as an airplane. <laughs> to soar in the heavens. Okay, so let's go over the hands for this. You're going to start off with your left hand on your waist. Suck it into the skinniest part of your waist or where it used to be skinny. Okay, <laughs> put your right hand over your eyes. Now, we're going to go a little sightseeing, right? That's what we do when we go to the um, Golden Gate Bridge. So we're going to look towards this angle. We're going to look at the bottom of the bridge, and we're going to look at the top of the bridge. And then we're going to look down in the middle of the bridge. And we're going to look at the top of the bridge. <laughs> okay, can you picture that? We're sort of making that golden gate bridge with our eyes. Okay, so you're drawing it with your eyes. So you're going to go like this. Calafrisco. Just like, wow, I've never oh. seen something <laughs> so golden. <laughs> wow. My, my <laughs> students will know that wow is 
pretty much the emotion of every hula that I choreograph. Okay, so you're gonna go this way. Kala Frisco. Okay, then Akune Aula, put your, what is this, right hand across your chest now. Yep, and your left hand is gonna go from angle to angle to angle to angle and then flip. Yeah, no, 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 I'm just kidding. One, two, three, four, and then make airplane. That's what I meant. Okay, so don't flip. Okay, so let's go for our sightseeing. Lock your left hand in. Right hand is going to shade your eyes while you stare into the sun. Just kidding. Going down. Califresco. And then angle. Akune aula. Wings. Cha-ching. Okay, then ikekau mo kulele la. You're gonna dip your hands to the one side, ikekau. Then other side, mo kulele la. Then two hands are gonna swoop up, aleva ika leva. Open your hands. So you're soaring up to the level or the heights up there. How's that? Good? Okay, now I need to show you these feet a little bit. So I'm gonna take you down to the va vai cam if it's working. Ha <laughs> ha, it is working. Okay, so the va vai for this one is going to be what we call a cavelu holo. Now, let's talk about what is a cavelu first. A cavelu, you're going to keep your left foot planted, and your right foot is going to go forward and back, and forward and back. We're, we're mirroring you, so follow with us. Forward and back, and forward and back. Okay, so that's called a cavelu. Now, the cavelu holo is going to move you to the side a little bit. So after you step forward with your right foot, your left foot is going to kind of inch behind a little bit to the side. Then it's going to step back with the right foot, and your left foot is going to inch over. And then right foot, inch, left foot. Okay, so let's move this way a little bit so I can show them. Okay. So we're going to go forward and back with the right foot first. Ready, set, here I go. Forward, inch, back, inch, forward, inch, together. I know that we're going to try it again. Okay, so move over this way. We're just kind of doing the cavalu, but we're moving to the side a little bit. Okay, ready, set, here we go. Calafrisco. Okay, then your left foot. Your, our right foot, your left foot, is going to go forward and back. Akunei aula. That's it. Perfect. That's perfect. Okay, so let's try one more time to the right. Ready, set, here we go. Calafrisco. Now switch to the left foot moving you. Akunei aula. Yeah, it's confusing if you watch over there, yeah? Okay, so now let's come back to the, um, the main camera. Okay, and so you're, you're going to go to the right, and you're looking like this. Cala Frisco. And then you're going to follow your hand. Akune Aula. And then make your, sorry, you can't see my feet. <gasps> Try one more time so you can see my feet, okay? Ready, set, here I go. Cala Frisco. Then pointing, akunei aula, and then you're gonna point, put your um, wings out. Yeah, I feel like a superhero, and my wings go swing. Okay, ikikau mo kulele la. You're gonna turn to the side, ikikau mo kulele la. So that one is an O right and left. For the O, turn towards this side. Put your weight on the back foot, and your right foot is going to move forward. Then you're going to kaholo to the right when you do aleva, bringing your hands up. You holo right. Aleva ika aleva holo. Calafrisco going. Calafrisco. Go and then akune aula i kikau mo kulele la aleva i ka aleva. Actually, you only get a kao to the left, then holo to the right and left. 
good. I'm going to move some of my ukana over here because it's kind of like in my way of showing you the feet. Ukana is just junk, by the way, if you're wondering what is that word. Okay, is that a little bit more space to see? Okay, so here I go one more time. Cala first go. Let's call to the right. Ba da 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 da. Cala first go, looking down and up. Cala first go. Angle, angle. Ah, kune, ah, ula, swing. E kiko mo kulelela. Up to the heights. Aleva e ka aleva holo. Da -da -da. I should have said ka'o there. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> One ka'o at the end, okay? So let's try Califrisco. When you go to Califrisco, things get a little bit frisky. Okay, here we go. Holo. Califrisco. Califrisco. Up. Side. Side. And wings. Okay, very good. I want to give some of you a variation, and I wanna, I'm gonna show you that variation. Another variation, if the Cavalu Holo, I'm sorry that we don't have the overhead camera, and I think that would help a lot with this step. If you're not able to do the, the Cavalu Holo, another thing that you can do is just Holo Holo. So let's show them what a Holo Holo looks like. So we're gonna Holo Holo is just eight counts to the right. Ready, set, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then go eight counts to the left. Ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then pause right. Okay, so let's try Califrisco with a holo holo. Ready, set, here we go. Califrisco, left. Akune, aula, and pause right. That's it, okay? So now let's try just that, because I think the forward and back is a little hard to teach without the overhead camera. So all you're gonna do is look down and up, down and up, but you're doing a holo holo instead of the forward and back. Here, ready, set, here we go. Califrisco, side to side. Akunehi, aula, and then make your wings. Yeah, it's just like in, um, in the donkey one where we come to hold the donkey before we go. We're gonna hold our um, airplane. <laughs> hold the airplane before we go. Then you're gonna turn and soar. Swoop up. Aleva ka aleva. Holo. Let's try Califrisco with the holo holo. Ready, and here we go. Califrisco. Akunei aula ikikau mo kulelela aleva ika aleva sway ba da 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 oh da da da. This one needs a lot of room in your house. Okay, let's take a little pause while we kind of let that sink in, and I'm going to talk to you a little bit about our schedule. For the month of August, most of you already know how this has been going. We've, yeah, August. <laughs> we have our beginning, intermediate, and adult classes that are ongoing. We're so happy to have everyone back here at Hula. But I also wanted to point out to you that our Zoom opportunity for the month of August is quickly coming up. It's going to be um, a week from tomorrow. So August 29th is going to be our Kaulu Vehi Oke Kai Zoom Kula workshop. So it will be somewhere between two and three hours, just depending how long it takes us to go through all of the verses. Um, and there are two opportunities, either nine or six. So let me show that uh, slide, the Kaulu Vehioke Kai slide, if we have it. Yep. So this is a workshop, um, kind of instead of it being on Facebook, where it's like, I can't see you or help you or know if you're having a hard time, we're gonna be doing it on Zoom. Um, and the sign up is through Facebook. If you have any trouble at all signing up, please let me know. I did notice that a number of you said that you are going, 
but you haven't paid for a ticket yet. So this is a paid class. This one is going to be $35, um, and it includes, of course, uh, the entire song and Zoom access so that we can all be able to see each other and dance together, which is one of our, our classics. Okay, so I'm going to dance with you all three verses at this time. Um, and um, yeah, so we're going to go from Milo Li'i over to Waikiki and then Cala Frisco. You want to dance or you want to take a break? Dance? Okay. All right, let's go all the way back to the beginning. Kaholo. I like the donkey. Milo li e. Milo li e. Forward. Akune aula. Let's encourage that donkey. Ike kau e kakela. Nuha ike ala nu. Waikiki Waikiki Akune Aula Ike Kau Ele Panila Yuhu Pele Waikiki Waikiki Akune Aula Ike Kau Ele Panila Calafrisco, Calafrisco, Akune Aula, Ike Kau, Mokulela, Aleva Ika Aleva, Calafrisco, Calafrisco, Akune Aula, Ike Kau, Mokulela. Aleva ika aleva. Honolulu. Very good. Honolulu. I realized what I did wrong. Um, when we did the donkey, didn't we do nuha and then ala nui? Was there? I'm so sorry. My brain, I don't know what's wrong with me today. Okay, so instead of doing nuha on both sides, you're going to do nuha. He's kind of irritated but then he's on the road. So your ala nui is gonna touch from your hips and then push forward. <sighs> so sorry, so sorry about that. So holo to the right and kaholo to the left. That was my bad. Okay, so let's try, we're gonna try the whole thing. Um, I wanna practice those three verses um, a couple more times. So we're gonna start one more time from the beginning and let's fix that ala nui verse. Sorry, my bad. Can I move this out a little bit? Give you a little more space to do your airplane. Kaholo. Miloli. Miloli. Let's go. Akune aula. Ike kau. E kakela. Nuha ike ala nui. Miloli. That's right. Waikiki. Something felt weird. Waikiki. Akune aula. Let's write it. Ike kau ele panila. Yuhu pele ele Waikiki. Frisco, Calafrisco, Akune Aula, Ike Kau, Mokulela, Aleva Ika Aleva, Cal 
Frisco. Califrisco. Akune aula. Ike kau mo kulelela. Aleva ika aleva. Honolulu. That's it. Honolulu. Now next week we are going to be coming back to Honolulu. We're going to ride something different. We're not going back to that elephant again. We're going to ride something even stranger. <laughs> We won't talk about it yet. Okay, uh, Califresco, I just want to give a couple of tips on that one. You got to kind of keep the rhythm going. Just think this is the, the city, so it's just always rolling, rolling, rolling. Even when you stop, you're kind of going. So, for example, your feet are going move, 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 stop but move, and move, 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 move. It's really go, go, go in the city of San Francisco, okay? So even though you're pausing here for your wings, I want you to be thinking of moving while you're going. So watch. Going to the right. We're going to the right. We're going to the left. We're going to the left. We're paused but moving while we turn to the side. Okay, so you have to be thinking about that in your head. Otherwise, the um, ding, 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 what is that? Cable car is going to run you over. Okay, got to keep it moving. Okay. Last time, all three verses. Kaholo. Let's go. Milo li. Milo li. Milo li. We go. Akune aula. Let's ride that donkey. Ike kao e kakela. Nuha ike ala nui. Waikiki, Waikiki, Akune Aula. Let's go for a ride on Daisy. Ike Kau, Ele Panila, Yuhu Pele Eleu. I know, some of you probably think that's ridiculous. Waikiki, Waikiki, Akune Aula. Ike Kau, Ele Panila. Okay, let's go to Califrisco. Move, Califrisco. Califrisco. Akune aula. Ike kau mo kulelela. Aleva ika aleva. Califrisco. Califrisco. Akune aula. Ike kau. Aleva ika aleva. Honolulu. That's it. Good job. All right. So next week we'll be going to Honolulu. I'll tell you what we're gonna ride when we get there. Uh, hopefully it's something fun. <laughs> How could it get any worse than the elephants? I don't know, but. Hope you have a little time to practice this week. I know that last verse was a little bit tricky. I'm going to practice it myself, I know. Um, but we'll be back again next week. We'll try to figure out what's causing our video issues. I'm so sorry about that. But thanks, everybody, for hanging with us. Um, don't forget to sign up and buy your um, admission tickets for our Zoom workshop coming up next Sunday. But we will see you back here on Facebook next Saturday. Until then, ahui ho.